What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we are back with our first video in I don't know how long. Um, in case you can't tell, we did move or you didn't know, we did move to a new location, new state and everything and new setup. So hopefully everything's okay. Looks like the sound might be a little too loud. Um, yeah, today we're opening up our first booster box of Evolving Skies. We also have a Evolution tin uh, for my patron, Ty. Ty, thank you for all the support, long-term supporter. Um, a lot of stuff to talk to, a lot of stuff to update you on, but let's just get going. Uh, we do have a lot of packs to open, 40 packs total. And uh, yeah, finally getting into this set. Uh, getting the boxes a little bit late, even past, you know, official release day. Uh, we got the EV tins actually a couple days ahead. I believe it releases September 3rd, so that's kind of cool. All right, Ty said nothing in particular. Maybe the Espeon alt art would be the one to grab. Um, try not to watch too many videos ahead of time, uh, just to so I can kind of um, you know go into this with an open mind and everything. But let's get into this. So far, I think I've opened eight packs from what I picked up at uh, GameStop and uh, Target. So I think all we pulled was a Rayquaza V Max. Regular art. So we're just going to um, kind of go through these pretty quick. We have a lot of packs to get to. So first pack, and uh, hopefully the lighting is okay and the sound. A Drampa reverse into... Oh my gosh, right? Oh, <laughs> Gordy. Okay. I'm getting flashbacks from uh, Eevee Heroes. I believe like our rainbows were like Gordy and then like three Aroma Girls. So the good news is... Actually, I don't know if you can get multiple secret rares, but we got a rainbow rare of the first pack assuming you can get uh multiple secrets that is a great start let's get a penny sleeve for you i can't imagine too many people are saying oh man i gotta pull that rainbow gordy um but we're hoping for multiple secret rares that's for sure i don't i and i'm guessing all the alt arts evolutions are like secret rares uh that would make sense but you never know all right, pack number two of, ooh, Drowsy. That's a pretty cool Drowsy art. Drowsy definitely probably not one of the uh, under uh, underappreciated Pokemon Hitmonchan. A bag on a lot of Dragon types. Ooh, Dragon Knights. Um, I'm not, I'm guessing this is, this looks like an alt art. I'm guessing that looks very nice. Dragon Knight V. Wow, I really like that. And wow, what a start. Um, I have heard that potentially you can get like god boxes where like every single pack has a hit i heard this is a really good card all right you are also going to sleeve that would be awesome if we can start off like our first box with an insane box with like 20 hits all right well we are two for two rainbow and a alt art what a start and hopefully you know we don't go off for might come like a very cold streak after that kind of fire start all right a full face guard that just looks like a space helmet uh hypno definitely not looking looking nearly as cool as the drowsy all right um yeah so a quick update on myself um yeah i haven't been posting anything just the move has been very took a lot of time and we're moving into kind of like a house so uh, a lot of work to do around the house and stuff like that and that's something I'm particularly good at. So it's good. It's been uh, quite the learning experience for myself and still a lot to learn. But um, yeah, thank you everyone for all the people who have reached out and just see, checked in on how things were going. Um, we are all moved in. And uh, but yeah, now just a lot of uh, a lot of little jobs here and there to basically take care of. Swablu Flabebe into a Psyduck. I do really like that Psyduck art into a Smeargle. So, oh, another Stormy Mountains. All right, I need to figure out these piles. Let me just put these all the way over here. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, for all my patrons that are interested in getting a box, I am offering a great price. Um, at this point, by the time this video airs, I'm probably not going to be accepting any more new patron just because of the limited quantity of boxes I was able to get and it wouldn't surprise me if I'm not able to get any more um, you know unless there's like a reprint or something which I imagine you know Pokemon would be kind of uh, 
silly if they didn't reprint this for as long as they could. Ooh, maybe we got some. This looks like it's going to be a regular V. Uh, we haven't hit any evolution yet. Um, yeah, the assuming we don't only get like one Seeker rare, uh, not probably not the supporter we want to see. But that Dragonite does look amazing. All right, we got a Arctovish. That is interesting. We'll leave it at that. Uh, let's see. So up some upcoming content. Uh, we'll probably just take a look at some market stuff in the near future. Actually, have to kind of like reset and just get a under good understanding of where things are at right now. Um, going to probably do a mail day. Kind of went on a bit of a singles buying binge one night and started off with. I don't know. I think I just saw on eBay. Oh, I know where I started was. Oh, let me pick up the the pre-release singles the actual promos so I got like one of each actually made a couple of each and then it kind of spiraled out of control where I was like oh you know what I think the vivid voltage a lot of the secret rares are really cheap and then kind of hit battle styles and I believe oh they hit a little bit of shining uh shining fates as well just because everything was so cheap and uh ooh, Flaffy, another I heard another insane card actually this ability sounds ridiculous attach something from your discard pile I think all right, I'm getting close to halfway through the box. Definitely things have calmed down. A rescue carrier, interesting. It looks like a portable washing machine into a shiftery. Oh, another flappy, nice. So what does everybody think of this set? I think this one is going to be really hot. Uh, you know, I feel like Battle Styles, not too surprisingly, was a bit of a dud. Um, and then Chilling Rain, I felt like was not as popular as I would have expected. Maybe the Galarian Birds are not getting um, as much love as maybe probably they deserve. Golurk, I did see, I'm guessing it's an alt art or Golurk, I'm not sure if it's the VMAX where he's kind of like moving around like lumber or something. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, when it comes to like the... The alt arts, like the evolutions, I think the the ones I thought was the cutest, I think was like Leafeon, where he was like helping um, get those, I don't even know what it is, like those giant barrels of hay or something. <laughs> Alright, here we go. But yeah, let me know how you're, how, how's it going for yourself as far as getting products. Um, imagine that, well, imagine a lot of people are having a tough time, I was having a tough time to get these. Um, you know how your polls are going if you manage to find some product and kind of what what everyone is looking for have to imagine evolutions are going to be on top actually the altar Rayquaza looks really cool and uh, yeah let's feel like the state of the hobby uh, maybe kind of went kind of a bit of a lull during like that battle styles period uh, chilling rain that's just that's just of my own opinion Oh, Roma Lady triggers me a little bit. But I imagine with this set, it's just going to, you know, kick things back into, you know, kind of some of the less fortunate, in, like, parts of the hobby that past couple years, where I imagine this will just be hard to find stuff in stores. Hopefully, uh, you know, they do continue to restock regularly and get a, plenty of stuff like ETBs. Uh, I know there's kind of ETBs have been, like, delayed and stuff like that. Almost done with the first half. All right, let's see what else is going on. Let me talk a little bit about, uh, yeah, just other stuff on myself. Um, got into, started dabbling into a new kind of collectible. Maybe you can see a couple of them in the background. Uh, there are a couple of comic book slabs. Uh, primarily two, two kind of like um series I'm, I'm guessing is the proper word uh that is something killing is something is killing the children which i did read the first 15 books and uh it's really good um and seems like there's a lot of hype with the netflix series that's incoming stoutland reverse kind of like that and then drampa that's got to be like drampa number three and then the other one the other comic that i started to pick up some copies of is Stray Dogs. That one I have not read yet. But yeah, there's some, some stuff that's been going on in my life. 
Uh, as you can see, actually my head's kind of blocking. I got just a bookcase full of Funko Pops and a couple of those slabs. And then behind my head is a uncut sheet of Magic the Gathering War of the Spark, which is not by no means a rare thing. They kind of printed a lot of those. Um, but I still have a lot of blank space. You probably need to get some more furniture to display some stuff. And I just have too many Funkos. <laughs> I took up the majority of the space right now. But, uh, you know, some in some of these open spaces, I do want to... Kind of like on Etsy, they sell the, these cool frame things that you can put like PSA cards into. And I kind of want to do a thing for like the Scream, the Mario Pikachu, stuff like that. Some like the my, some of my favorite cards uh, of all time. Entei, that's a pretty cool artist. I'm kind of waiting to say that. Um, yeah, I like it. All right, definitely. All right, so now we are officially halfway through the box. We got four hits. Um, I feel like I've heard that the hit rate is pretty high uh, for this set. So, to be honest, like normally I would feel like eight is fine, uh, but I feel like the expectations for this set are a little bit higher. So, um, while it normally I would be pretty content uh, with four hits on one half, you know, maybe we're going to get even more. All right, and I did crack open one of those EV tins to see what was inside, and kind of mixed results. Where uh, so this is after V Strikers, which released the same day as Chilling Rain, and oh, okay, we got our first V Max. It's a Garboder V Max. Hmm, looks kind of just like a giant Garboder. I think they're, I'm not sure it's alt art, but I did see, or maybe it's the regular V. I actually really like that art. Not bad. See what you do. Um, this Pokemon may have up to two tools attached to it. If it loses its ability, discard a tool from it until only one remains. Interesting. Uh, so, in the EV tins, uh, four pack, typical thing, and has one evolving skies. Interesting that they went down to one. Definitely would have preferred two. And then one Chilling Rain, one Battle Styles, I believe. Then Sword and Shield Base. Which, um, you know, I feel like it's not bad. Definitely would have preferred... Um, you know what? Actually, I, I would not have minded if... I feel like a lot of products, they had like two of the most recent one. And then one from the previous set. And then one from like older generation. Which, uh, you know, Sun and Moon. That would have been awesome, actually. Or not Sun and Moon specifically. But any Sun and Moon set. Appleton. Hmm. All right. Definitely looking for some more heat. Ah, it's kind of a weird feeling when you get a secret rare on your first pack, and then when it's a very real possibility that you only have one, versus like let's say let's say you're gonna get one per pack or one uh, secret rare in the box and you're waiting till like the last second, that's like a very uneasy feeling. But uh, you know, there's still a lot of anticipation. All right. Definitely need to get back into the habit of putting like a cardboard box below me to put all the wrappers. Gonna take me, uh, you know, probably like twice as long to render the video because it's been so long since I've done that and also clean up the big mess I created. All right. But yeah, it's great to be recording again um, and hopefully things aren't too bad sound and video wise. And uh, yeah, at some point we'll do a proper tour of the new office. Um, has a lot of space actually. So, still need to find some ideal furniture to display some stuff in the Discord group. Uh, look up, got some good suggestions from folks. Talonflame into a Shelgon. Shelgon. Ursa Ring, Crustle, and the Portable Washer.
All right, also because, um, so there's like a lot of glare in the background, uh, and I have like a ceiling fan to, that'll normally just keep me cool in here, but I had turned it off because like it was just, you know, making, uh, affecting the, the glare where it just keeps, like you see the, the light keep changing. So I turned it off and as a result, it is very warm in here. So I'm like, gonna pick up the face a little bit. We still have that tin. Also, after we wrap up this box, Definitely need to pick up the pace as far as the hits go. What are we at? Six. Or a Nuzleaf. Ooh, Volcarona. Okay. I actually did not know you're in this set. Volcarona V full art. Um, feel like the art is just okay. Well, we got surging flames, 20 more damage for each basic energy in your discard pile. Interesting. Where best ones like see discard a energy. All right, we'll take it. So far, I feel like um, my favorite pull is definitely that Dragonite. Rainbow off the top, plus I'm guessing the Dragonite is the alt arts. I could be wrong. All right, we got, what is this? Maybe like seven packs remaining? All right, and once again, big, big shout out to all my patrons. Appreciate, appreciate your continued support, uh, especially during some of this downtime or for me, you know, just this transitional period. Oh, I put a lot of comments into that, uh, to the, the rear and reverse slot. Lucky Ice Pop, what do you do? Heal 20 damage if you healed, and this way flip heads if, or flip coin if heads go back into your hand instead of your discard pile. That does not sound that good. All right, Mareep, this art looks familiar. Is that recycled? That's a funny one. Rubber gloves. Oh, uh, so the, the few packs I managed to pick up at, at like uh, GameStop and um, Target. Uh, so I usually just open the packs with my girlfriend and, and she's like, oh, I got more diggers. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? All right, winding down for the box. Come on, still hoping for what are the, I don't know what the chances are of that second Seeker Rare, but really hoping for it. Another alt art, assuming that Dragonite was one, would be even better. All right, oh, other topic is, how is everybody doing as far as celebrations is uh, goes? It has been a real struggle to get pre-orders in, try to get go to GameStop, and everything just sold out so quickly. Managed to get some online versus in store what the Ooh, wait that is our first evolution it's a vaporeon v max not bad um my honest opinion of like all the evolutions is like the alt arts are like level 100 and then everything else is you know like around a smooth like level 30 um just like the the jump in how nice the art is is so dramatic but um yeah it is our first evolution of the box which uh i feel like i don't know they put skies because yeah there's um that that uh duraladin i guess and and rayquaza but um i, I feel like i've said this before where i actually think they could have made the EV Hero set, its own set, like a special set, kind of like Champions Path Shining Fates. And, ooh, Espeon, all right. So the evolutions are starting to come out late in the box. We only have three packs remaining, but we did get a Espeon. And I feel like that would have, I mean, I'm sure this is gonna sell like crazy too, but that would have been awesome and better in my opinion. By the way, card quality just looks, feels really good so far. And I feel like that would have been great just to step away from shinies. Um, I hope like the next one has, actually there's obviously celebrations, but like, you know, give shinies a break. Uh, I kind of been pushing that pretty hard lately. All right, Hitmonchan, Slaykoth into a Dialga, which is a pretty sweet looking card. A Toy Catcher. I believe that's like a one of the Pokemon catchers before, like I think it needs to have certain HP. 
All right, two packs remaining. We got Umbreon. I feel like Umbreon's always so popular. Let's go Sylveon first. So we kind of, uh, you know, went off early with that, uh, unfortunately, Gordy. Man, I'm getting those uh, Eevee, Heroes, Eevee Hero flashbacks. A second Arctovish. Wonder how often that happens, getting the same Ultra Rare. And so with the 10, we do have one extra pack as well as some others. We'll probably save the Eevee Evolving Skies for last, but last pack of the box. We'll do a quick recap after. And from the side, does not look too promising. Scraggy, a Litleo, a Timpole, Rescue Carrier, the washing machine into a Wishy Washy. Ooh, that's a pretty creepy looking mask. And then, ah, Gordy again. All right, quick recap. Everything came out in the very beginning. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine's not bad. Definitely, this is my favorite card. I'm hoping this is an alt art. It looks like it would be. So, all right, we're gonna get into this tin next. All right, this is what the tin looks like. All right, Flareon promo, not bad. All right, Evolving Skies, we'll go with that last. Chilling Rain, Battle Style, Sword and Shield base. Let's go in this order. Oh, so at one point in time during like, um, while this process of going on was with me moving, um, a someone introduced me to the app whatnot and uh, spent some time on it it got it was pretty sticky in the beginning and did uh purchase some stuff hey necrozma we'll, we'll we'll take any hit when it comes to these kind of products a necrozma v this looks very similar to was it um is it burning shadows as far as the necrozma art goes All right, sword and shield base. Let's see. Oh, we def we definitely got to try to pull a um, Snorlax for Ty. It's definitely his uh, favorite Pokemon. Drizzle into a Cramorant. So nothing there. The good old crushing hammer. All right, chill rain. Another possible lax. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Golitz, Porygon, a Grookey, Weezing, and... Ooh, ooh, okay. That's a very solid pull, in my opinion. We got the Chocobo, the Galarian Zapdos. I think this is my favorite Galarian just because, um, I don't know, throw, throw a trainer on there uh, that's holding a big old sword, and you got, like, Cloud riding a Chocobo. We will take it. Two hits out of four packs. That is great. And we still got the best pack yet. Evolving Skies. Um, I've seen the Rayquaza VMAX. Haven't seen the regular V. Or another evolution, of course, would be amazing. All right, here we go. Last pack of the video. And it is the Sweet Art Entei. But um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this. Um, yeah, we're back recording. We'll hopefully we we'll open more of these boxes for more of our patrons. Uh, huge shout out to every, all the all of the patrons that are supporting me on Patreon. And uh, yeah, we'll get these over to you, Ty. Um, yeah, guys, I'm Juan Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.